Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the depth foundation. In this lecture, we are going to use a simple formula to find out the minimum depth of foundation. First of all, the depth of foundation is affected by many important factors. Some of the factors that affect the depth of foundation are the type of soil, into which type of soil you are using. So according to that, your depth of foundation will vary. The second factor which affects the depth of foundation is the water table. It means that how deep, how deep is the water table from the ground level. The third factor affecting the depth of foundation is the structural load. So the higher the load the higher the load on the ground, the, high, the more depth of foundation you have to provide. The other factors are the density of soil. Similarly, the higher the density of soil, the less will be the depth of foundation. Also, the bearing capacity of soil. Bearing capacity of soil. So, by using high bearing capacity of soil, so we will, re we will be required with the lower depth of foundation. So, these are the factors which affect the depth of foundation. One of the simple formula that is used to find out the minimum depth of foundation is the Rankine's formula. Rankine's formula. And this formula is used to find out the minimum depth of foundation and this formula is h is equal to p divided by gamma into 1 minus sine of phi divided by 1 plus sine of phi and power 2. So by having all these factors we can find out the minimum depth of foundation. H. H is the, the minimum depth of foundation the gamma. Gamma is the density of soil the P P is the gross bearing capacity of soil. It is the gross bearing capacity of soil. While the phi here the angle is the angle of repose soil. Angle of repose soil. So this angle of repose soil depends upon the kind of soil. Like for example, if you are using the gravel soil, so it is a different angle. If you are using a mud soil, if you are using a dry soil or wet soil, or for example the earth moisture, so according to different soils, we have different value of the phi, which is the angle of repose soil. So this angle of repose soil depends upon the kind or the type of soil. For example, for the mud soil, this value is taken as 0. For the gravel soil, this value is taken as 40. And for the moisture earth, this value is taken as from the 45 to 50 degree. And this is the highest value, while this is the, for the mud, this is the lowest value. So, depending upon the type of soil, our phi value changes. So, by knowing all these factors, the gross bearing capacity, the density of soil, and the angle of repose soil, we can find out the minimum depth of foundation. Now, let's we are going to solve one numerical example to find out the minimum depth of soil. Let's suppose that the P, which is the gross bearing capacity of soil, is given to us and it is and we found out from the investigation that the, game, the, the P which is the 
gross bearing capacity of sun is 320 kN per square meter and the gamma which is the density of sun it is also known to us and it is let's suppose 20 kN per cubic meter and let's suppose the angle of repose side it is also known to us and it is let's suppose 25 degree so we are going to find out the minimum dip required for the foundation so it will be equal to P which is 320 divided by gamma which is 20 multiplying by 1 minus sine of 25 degree divided by 1 plus sine of 25 degree into power of 2 so we can find out the H which is the minimum depth of foundation and it comes out to be 2.37 meter because all these units are in meter so we will get our dip in meter so it means that our minimum depth of foundation for such type of soil conditions will be 2.37 meter this is the minimum depth of foundation and from this onwards you can take your required high depth of foundation but this is the least value this is the minimum foundation that you should must take into consideration if your soil has this type of condition with a gross bearing capacity of 320 the density of soil is 20 and with the angle of repose soil is 25 degree this was just an example to show you that how to find the minimum depth of foundation by the Rankine's formula hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos Thank you for watching our video.